Hello and welcome to The Money Movement. And today we are talking about what is my favorite topic in finance, and it's known as compound interest. And it wasn't just me who thought it was great, it was also Albert Einstein who coined it the eighth wonder of the world. So I'm gonna explain the next time you open your bank statement, it might not quite be as picturesque as the Taj Mahal, but nevertheless, it is still an eighth wonder of the world in my opinion. So what is compound interest and why does it matter and why am I so excited about it? It's based on the interest rate you're paid by your bank on your savings. So if you don't know about interest rates, we've done a fantastic video explaining all of it to you and we mentioned compounding in there, this is the follow on video. Now compound interest is most easily explained as the interest earned by your interest. For example, if you have £100 deposited and the interest rate is 1%, end of the year, you end up with £101 in your bank account. Year two, the interest rate is still 1%, nothing's changed. The interest rate has not changed. But at the end of year two, you get one pound interest on your £100 you put in to start with, another pound, but you also get 1% on that pound you earned last year because it's part of your balance now, it's part of your bank balance. So that brings your total to £102 and one penny. Small fry I know, small figures, who cares? But the point is, as you save, as you grow, as the compounding effect takes hold, it only ever grows. It only ever becomes more money, more compound, more interest. And obviously, if you're talking about depositing £10,000, £5,000, the numbers are much bigger. But I'm just keeping it at £100 to keep it simple. So it's most easily described as the interest you earn on the interest that has already been paid to you. It's a free lunch. It doesn't cost you any more. All you need is a bank account that pays interest. Quick tip here, how do you increase the compound interest rate you receive? Good question, I'm glad you asked. So the first key is to try and get interest paid as regularly as possible. Most banks pay interest annually because that's the cheapest way to do it because the compound effect makes it expensive for banks. So most pay annually, some pay quarterly, that's once every three months, four times a year, some pay monthly. So if you have an interest rate that's 1% and it was paid annually, quarterly or monthly, your compound interest would be highest monthly, then the next best would be quarterly and the worst compound interest on this would be annually. So the important thing is make sure you've got a high interest rate because that will help supercharge the compound because you're earning more interest in the first place. And then make sure that your interest is paid as soon as possible and as regularly as possible to really start that compounding snowball up. And that's how compound interest works. So drop it in the comments. Do you agree with me and Albert Einstein that it is the eighth wonder of the world? I hope you do. And I hope this video has explained it clearly enough. But as always, if you've got any questions, you want us to cover anything else in the channel, get in contact, drop us a comment, and please do subscribe because we're going to be putting out loads more content on interest rates, the best way to save money, the best way to make your money work as hard for you as you work for it. And until next time, you take care. What happens to your interest? Sorry. So compound interest 